Eight runs, 12 hits, no errors, 11 left for Sugarland. One run, four hits, three errors. The Barnstormers have stranded five. Here is Jared Mitchell leading off against Anduri Acevedo, who has provided a breath of fresh air for the Barnstormers over the last couple of innings. He deals inside and low, ball one. Acevedo's gone an inning in two-thirds, giving up one walk, striking out one. He's gotten a lot of ground balls. And that's a nice thing to have. Next offering, Mitchell goes deep the other way. On his horse is Torrance going back. He will not get there. That ball is going to rattle to the base of the fence. And in its second with a leadoff double is Jared Mitchell. Third hit here in game two. Runner in scoring position for the Sugarland Skeeters. The most total bases against the Barnstormers in a game this year prior to tonight has been 18. That has been eclipsed far over. Four home runs. Sire brings it home. It is high. And a 1-0 count here. Nobody throwing in the Barnstormers' pen. I've got to believe the next guy in is going to be Gindle. In a ball game like this. High drive to right center field. That is going and that is four more runs. Five homers tonight for the Sugarland Skeeters. It is 13 to 1. And all those pretty looking numbers for. Logan Sawyer have gone by the boards. Oh, my. Mitchell with his second home run. Stanley has two. 13-1 in favor of the Sugarland Skeeters, and you hope this is just going to, uh, to purge the body of all the toxins. This one's been ugly for the Sugarland Skeeters tonight. Still only one out this inning. Jared Mitchell to the plate. He has two homers, a single, a double. Six runs batted in. One of the biggest nights I can remember against the Barnstormers, certainly in a long time. Gindle's pitch. Line drive. Caught by Hobson. Chance to double the lead runner off second. Prince is a goner. 3-6 on the double play. Nice play defensively. Albaladejo backs off momentarily before Mitchell, who has one of the two solo home runs in this game, steps back in. Defense will play back. And to Mitchell, outside and low, ball one, no strikes. Chris Colabello, the first baseman, due next. Sugarland has, in fact, scored three consecutive innings in this doubleheader now. Outside. Mitchell leads in the count 2-0. and Out of the windup, the pitch. Crowds Mitchell to the inside for ball three. Colabello waiting on deck. We have a raucous contingent of Sugarland Skeeters fans, maybe relatives, sitting behind home plate. Microphones definitely picking them up. Albladeo may be working around Mitchell here by the looks of things. It's ball three and no strikes, two outs. McElroy, the runner at third base. Colabello waiting on deck. And the fourth ball is going to be given up officially in the books as an intentional walk. Colabello will step in with left-handed batters. They're five for nine off of him this season. They barely hit 100 last year. First and second with one out. Mitchell stands in. Big breaking ball stays high. It is one and oh.
Bell at the edge of the grass over at Marksbury looks around. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Make it a ball and a strike. Breaking ball is outside, two and one. Barnstorm is just looking to get some outs. You've got to figure that Caleb Gindle's going to pitch before this one's over, unless things change drastically. And maybe this will be the night that will purge it all. Sometimes it does. 2-1 offering, ground ball on the right side. That's through for a base hit. They are going to send McElroy the throw going to third. But Rondon not trying to take that. It's now 7-0 on the RBI single by Mitchell. Rondon stopping at second. 